Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode, episode 61 of Let's Build Minecraft and let's continue work on the Orc Stronghold. Hello phone, stop doing that. I'm trying to record. Anyway, so I've done a little bit of work since last episode. Uh, last episode we did this portion of the wall. I need to move this because it's really in the way of my view. Um, so here's the gate. The idea behind this is that it's going to be closed off. So like this door, it's barricaded, barred off. Um, there's no way in here, except then there's going to be a secret way that we're going to infiltrate in through. going to give you a little bit of a story. I've extended the wall over to here. Um, this isn't done yet. Uh, probably, actually, it probably won't take too long if I just, uh, do one of these and close that off. This side's fine. There's just a little roost there, and I'll go on the other side and show that a little bit better. Whoop! Thank you. Uh, I've yet to... I, I'm making an outline here. And here's a bridge. Uh, not done yet. <laughs> uh, so, a little roost here. I really like it. You can see a lot in this direction from here since it's fairly flat. It doesn't, the towers don't have to be super high up. Uh, don't have to see any, over any hills or anything. I can see as far as the fog lets me. Um, but this is what I'm working on today. I want to start working on the main portion of the building. And I, I have a few cool ideas, I think. So the idea with this thing is that it's run down, right? So look at these walls. There's bricks missing, there's chunks missing, uh, rubble covering the doors. Uh, this place is like run down, taken over by orcs. But at one time, it was really nice, I, I'm assuming. Probably really nice at some time, right? Um, so I, I've got a few ways to portray that. And it's also going to help with the fact that this is all stone. Just nothing but stone. All stone castles or buildings, keeps, whatever, typically leave me wanting more. Like, there's more to be desired. Uh, it's just like, can you throw in some color? Eh. Well, that's that's what this wood's helping with. But I've got another idea, and I got this by just kind of Googling uh, keeps and whatnot. I'm going to make a roof out of hardened clay, and I'm going to use these two colors. So it's going to look like it was red initially. I'm just going to throw down these colors. So it's going to look like it was a red roof whenever this building was constructed. And over time, it's it's been uh, worn away, uh, sunbaked, whatever, and it looks like that now. We're going to give it one of those. Maybe we can find other ways to make it look kind of worn down, too. Um, but that is the idea. So I'm going to go over here. Now, this wall's going to... It's not done yet, but it's going to extend, come over here. And I want to meet up... Let's get these. Let's just put these here for now. I want to meet up here. So there's going to be a door there. Let's see. Somewhere around there. Um, and right here, there's going to be spots for windows set back. Uh, so let's just knock out this. And then I'll have to do some some digging to be able to put an actual interior in here. And I do plan on it. I always plan on putting an interior in. It doesn't mean that it always gets done, though. But I do plan on it. I think that... Uh, especially with an individual location like this. There's no town to explore or anything. So I think an interior is pretty important in this case especially. But let's get out. Do I just want to do stone like I have been doing? Mm. Let's just do one section right now. So I want a window. So what I typically do, I'm just going to put that there for now. What I typically do is I put the blocks where I know I'm going to want them in all cobblestone. And we could probably make this 
a block and a half tall window. So get this in here. And then that makes it a little bit bigger. So that could be nice. And then I'll just, you know, do one of these deals where I trade them out for for those blocks. Um, so I think I'll do that for these. In the meantime, how are you guys? I am doing good. I Actually, as of this video going live, I am on vacation. It is my spring break. And I'm camping with my wife. Um, going to Zion National Park, which is going to be a little bit of a drive for us. And then, uh, by the way, I'm not putting a whole lot of thought into this, just making it not look like anything was purposefully placed. And I'm not going to do right there because that's going to be a doorway. But we can step back. And that looks pretty good to me. Maybe put fence or something in that. Uh, like I do. I like to put fence like right there. But um, that will obviously be interior. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm currently camping. Going to be away for uh, Thursday through through Sunday, leaving Thursday, coming back Sunday. So I, I'm not sure what day this is going to go up. Probably, probably I'm going to need slabs because I don't want the roof to be plain red. Um, I want some sort of trim, and we're going to do that with spruce. I think I'm going to put this up on Thursday or Friday. And I might have another series start in the meantime. Uh, keep your eye out for it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's go over here. This is probably going to be a fairly short episode as well. Um, I have to decide. I don't want this. I don't know how I want this. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out. I need my axe. I'm going to bring this out so that's one out from the posts. Otherwise, it would be even with the posts, and I don't think that would look very good. Um, and then this one, I think it'd be best if I actually got up there and got some dirt on my toolbar. So uh, this should actually got a great idea. All right, the front part of the roof is more or less done. Then I'm going to just bring this across very randomly. Uh Everything that's not red will become orange. And I like it. It's like, it looks sunbaked to me, right? Like, that's the color of, like, picture like a 1996 Honda. It was red. It was like the color that it turns into, right? Like, everyone knows that, everyone has that friend with a beater Honda like that, right? That's the color that they are, right? <laughs> um, I'm trying not to think too much about it, like I said, but I also don't want to mix up or line up too much with the uh, pattern below because if it does, then it, your eye might kind of get drawn to it. Ah, oh, gosh, I am having a heck of a time staying up here. Just like that. And we can do another one, so... I'm really not thinking about it now. And this is supposed to be random, so I shouldn't be afraid to put three in a row. I mean, random. there's only two of them. You're going to get three in a row every now and then, right? So let's do that. Fill in the rest with red. And now we can step back and see how it looks. I got this idea from... I just Googled Stronghold Art. Because when I Googled Stronghold, I, I think it was Civilization or some game pretty much every picture um was was the results um i just realized that my roof does not match but i i googled stronghold art and there's one in particular that had you know the materials and colors that we'd be using stone a little bit of wood but it was i'm just going to use a shovel remember the good old days when shovels were just as fast as uh axes and you use shovels because they were less diamonds than axes. Uh, it, it had like these red roofs, and it it looked good. And I like this. Like, 
I really do. Another change I think that we could do is if I have enough, I don't have enough. I'm going to go farm some wood. Okay, I want to do like uh, that roof bracing. Like sometimes people just run a different kind of uh, material up the roof in sort of straight lines, right? I just want to try that in line with these bumps, just like this. I'm gonna step back and see how it looks. You know, we could even switch up this wood type with like jungle wood, and that would probably give the like nasty worn effect. Yeah, see, I like that color. And this this spruce wood, it's it goes well with red. Not really sure why, it just, it fits well. So yeah, that's going to be one section of this building. I've got to map out more. What I wanted was, I want a part of the building here. And then I wanted there to be something over here that's exposed outside. It's sort of, sort of like you go under this uh, bridge. And then you come to this enclosed area, but open to the outside, right? So I think that... Uh, that will look really well and i wonder if you get any sort of view from those windows or if you just see the wall i don't know if i have a way to well it'd be about this height you can see out right yeah you can see out plenty i can't really see the ground outside of the walls but that's fine so pretty much the next steps for me now uh, are to map out more of it like this. So, for example, there's this is going to go on to the roof of this part. So this is going to be a fairly short part of the building. And then I could maybe do something like, like if I knock this back, um, I'm just going to cut this out because it's going to be, it's going to have to go eventually. And I want to vary the, depth how far into the hill that this is from this just because it'll add interest but uh, not our silk touch let's use this grabbed a new pick because I was wearing through the other one pretty fast and we knock this down and then we can create another section of the building going straight up like this and it doesn't need to be the same width as that section either varying width this one right down here. So if we just knock this back and I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it somewhere right there. I don't know if that's odds. That's one, two, three, four, that is an odd. So that works as well. So we can have some sort of a uh, second story right there. I really wanna practice mapping out the sections of a build before you build them. So I don't even necessarily know what that's going to look like, but there's going to be a wall there uh, for not really a tower, but, you know, just an upper part. Um, and then this wall is going to need to come over this way. It's like a huge area right here, especially if I have the building hug this hill. There's a lot of area right here. I need to let it snow. Because all this, all this grass, uh, it would look good if it was covered in snow, I think. Now this is going to be a good experiment. I need to figure out how to take this and turn it into something good. This is just a cobblestone box. And it's literally just where I want this building to be. And it's all filled out. So, first thing that I'm going to do is swap out the cobblestone for different textures just like we do in our wall over there. Still pretty boring. Now I'm gonna go on top and I'm gonna give it this treatment and uh, stagger the height of the roof if I can get cobblestone on me. Um, I want these things. I'm probably not gonna need that many. I left the inside of the wall open because I was thinking it'd be cool if I had a way to actually walk around inside of it. And I thought I lit it up, but there's a zombie in there. All right, now. I think I want... I can either have this go a step up or a step down. I think I'll do a step up. 
but how do I want to, do I want to stagger this half a block like that? Or do I want to go a full block? Or do I want to go a block and a half? I don't think I want to go a full block because something about working with a full block is just, your eye just sees it, you know? It's a little too plain. So what I think I'm going to do is, you know what, let's, try this to start and then I've got other plans now our problem now is that the walls are way 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 too flat something needs to happen with the walls and that the answer to that is probably windows so we can if I could find a way to even knock back the wall, hmm, hold on. Okay, I think I've done some good work to it. I'm still not happy with it. Now, I set this back, and I want this to not be, I want that to be a one tall. I set that part of the wall back because it just felt too flat, and then I removed the corners, and I've, want to do something with this corner. I really don't want to do fence. You know, I could maybe do something like that. I'm not sure that I really like that either. I put these windows on the side, made them brown. It's supposed to look dusty. Um, like I said, this is like orc bandits or something. They don't care about how clean it is. This place is kind of run down. Um... This pillar, I like it. It's not centered, which I, I like. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. But see, it's right under this bridge. So, um, I still kind of like that. This side's not doesn't have anything done to it. Um, what do you think, guys? I could add in like. I could do something like this, right? Um, so this is very, this is like the opposite effect of that. And let's actually do that. So that's an option um, that I'd have. I, I think that's one of those things where I'll leave it and decide on it later. See if it grows on me. Um, sometimes when I build something that I don't necessarily know if I like, I do that. And I come back and I like it. And I keep it. Or I don't like it and I don't keep it. So this this needs something. I think banners could really help. It would be really nice if I could make, if you could make like tattered banners. Like they had pixels missing on the bottom so they look torn. I would put one in this corner. I think that could look cool. Um, if I don't have any wool on me, I don't think. But I also have to think that this is just one small part of the of the stronghold. Um, when when you walk through these gates or wherever you come in through. That's not the first thing. That's like the last thing that you're going to see. You're going to see the stronghold up here. You're going to see, hopefully, that that bright red color. Um, you're, you're not going to see this nasty thing right here. So I think it's like we could leave it, but I think we're going to have to come back to it after we've made some other decisions. Um but hopefully you learned how to take like just a a box and and detail it up when you need to because that's kind of what I did here. Um, wasn't much to it. I just uh, knew where I wanted to place it, filled it in with cobblestone, replaced the cobblestone with the wa with the textures I wanted, and then add your windows and build around that. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you like the red or you don't like it or you, you think that you know something else that you'd like to see, let me know, and I will definitely listen to your suggestions. So thank you for watching, everybody. I see something that screwed up. Oh, wait, no. Nope, those are fine. 
yeah, those are fine. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye!